What up, doe? Hello, Detroit. This is Jamal Baraka from GT Media Reviews coming to you in the world. Tonight, we're going to be looking at the Spider-Man Far From Home trailer and just giving some random reactions and thoughts on it. Uh, so this is a teaser. It doesn't really give a lot of information away. It doesn't really have a lot going on in it. Uh, I have a overall positive reaction to it. It's nice to see Tom Holland back in the role of Spider-Man, even though uh, the movie, the trailer doesn't really make it clear. And I saw some people online on social media kind of confused about the timeline here. Uh, to my knowledge, this movie is a prequel to Avengers Endgame, so you don't have to worry about this breaking con continuity. Uh, this movie is a prequel. If it's not a prequel and you have more information, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, uh, my initial take on it, it's nice and a change of pace to see Peter Parker in Europe. Uh, he's going to be out of his element here. And uh, this is summed up when we get our appearance from our villain, uh, played by Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, playing Mysterio. He's out of his element. He tells Spider-Man, hey, you don't want any parts of this. And we see Jake playing Hero, uh, but this is probably going to be a red herring. Uh, spoiler alert! Mysterio is one of Spider-Man's oldest villains, and the other villain uh, from the trailer appears to be I want to say Clinton Beck. Clinton Beck. That would be the Hydro Man. I may have that real name wrong. I haven't looked it up in a while. So I don't know if Spider Man is going to be dealing with two villains. My gut is telling me that Hydro Man is an illusion projected by uh, Mysterio and that the whole trailer is a red herring for what's really going on. Uh, it's nice to see our lead actor back in the role we see gank we see flash thompson we see mj uh, all of the characters look to be having fun overseas on their vacation uh in a bit of a surprise uh there was a, a lot of nick fury in this one i know that um samuel L. jackson was uh, talking about he wanted to do another 10 years worth of marvel movies he looks great I mean, he's pushing he's like 60 something now and if he wants to play Nick Fury for another 10 years, let him do it. I also would like to see a Nick Fury movie. I mean, even if it's like a TV movie or Netflix series, the guy deserves to be uh, his own thing. He's been around here. He's a workhorse. And I would say that uh, aside from RDJ, Robert Downey Jr., uh, Chris Evans as Captain America, the, prop, the most recognized person in the MCU would be Nick Fury and he, he deserves his own shot other than that I don't really have much to say about this trailer it's only a couple minutes 2 minutes and 56 seconds and it's mostly just Peter Parker playing around and then us uh, getting a tease of the villains here I don't have a bad reaction to it I feel better about this one than I do than I feel for um, Captain Marvel but that's not really saying anything so we'll check back in once we get a full reaction, I mean a full trailer, and see how it goes from there. But uh, Mysterio looks pretty cool. He has the fishbowl. Uh, Hydro Man looks kind of like Sandman. I'm not overly excited here, but I'm not going to bash the trailer. It's just a teaser. Uh, if you have any thoughts on it, on it, if you liked it, if you hated it, if you feel like this might be the end of the MCU, feel free to chime in in the comments below. If you want to check me out, you can check out more from me. You can subscribe to my channel or you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, or uh, Tumblr, Instagram at Jamal is Trash. Or uh, you can check out my blog at GT Media Reviews. We mostly cover comic reviews there, uh, but occasionally we do uh, delve into opinion pieces, fan fiction, stuff like that. Just uh, It's just a fun place to be, in my humble opinion. So with that being said... Have a great evening. I appreciate you stopping by. Bye.